I'm Tatum Everett inside TCO Studios, and joining me right now via Microsoft Teams is DJ Wanham, the big guy from last night who came up with three sacks in that Monday night football game against the Bears. DJ, how you feeling this afternoon? Man, I'm feeling amazing. Uh, I feel great, man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, after a performance like that, it's been less than 24 hours. I know that you have that little bit of time to celebrate. What was the flight back like here to uh, to Minnesota? Oh, man, it was an amazing flight back. Um, one thing, it was a short flight, so we got back quick. But, you know what I'm saying, just getting that win, getting the, <laughs> the win last night to make this playoff push was, was a great, amazing. Yeah, not only was it your first career multi-sack performance, you also forced a fumble. Where where did you see the holes in the in the Bears game plan? Were you able to really get to Justin Fields? Uh, I was just able to use my athleticism and run um, and really just hunt them down. You know what I'm saying? They like they they uh, got Fields out of the pocket a lot, um, doing different play action passes and different things like that. So I was just able to use my athleticism and just run them down. Yeah, I mean, as a defensive lineman. It's funny, I was watching and I was like, man, he is keeping up with Justin Fields. What does it feel like to be mm -hmm. able to kind of keep up with, you know, one of the best athletic dual threat quarterbacks out of college? Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, just the, these days now alone, you know, defensive ends are starting to get uh, a little bit smaller and more faster. So I feel like I fit that mode of, of running down the quarterback. So just get, being able to get to him was, was great last night. Yeah, there was one sack where you didn't leave your feel, your feet when Fields did a fake punt. How much do you do, like rely on that discipline to stay on your target and not get too fooled? Yeah, you can't get fooled because, you know what I'm saying, he's a great athlete. Uh, he can pump fake you and do different things to, to get you off his track. So just being disciplined, um, not jumping and doing different things like that was able uh, to allow me to get to him. This Viking team leads the league in sacks, yet none of you rank in the top 30 in individual performances. What does that say about the team effort of the unit and really your coaches as well? I just say, you know what I'm saying, we're relentless. You know what I'm saying, we're dogs. Uh, we're going to get after it, you know what I'm saying, no matter who we play. You know, obviously we lost some some big-time guys, uh, Daniil and Griff, but you know what I'm saying, next man up, we got to come ready to go. Um, and you know what I'm saying, we did that. You know, we were doing that a week in and week out. Well, you got the day off to kind of rest, recuperate before you get back to work and game plan against the Rams. The Vikings still in the playoff picture at 7-7 seven and seven, and now in that number seven and final playoff spot. You think you're going to watch that game tonight? Nah, I'm going to keep it moving, man. We got the Rams. We're trying to get into these playoffs, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to study those guys and get ready for next week. Oh, but they play tonight. Oh, the Rams? Yeah, we got we got a change in the schedule, oh. so they'll be played. So you might have to sit back on your couch, I watch forgot. some football. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch the game tonight then. <laughs> I I'm figured. definitely tuned in. So yeah. I like that, though, DJ, because it shows that you have been so laser-focused on the matchups that you have <laughs> ahead. And obviously, you do have the Rams yeah. this week. Um, what is it like in the locker room right now where you know every game is a must-win situation? Uh, you know what I'm saying? We just got to come, you know what I'm saying, ready to go, you know what I'm saying, each week. You know what I'm saying? We put in the work um, during the week. Coach Zim is, you know what I'm saying, pushing us to our max effort. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to continue to get better. And, you know what I'm saying, the, the rest is up to us. So we can do this thing. We just got to keep going. All right. Thank you so much to the star of the game last night, DJ Wanham, for joining us here on Victory Tuesday for this Microsoft Teams one-on-one. -on -one.